for generations are fighting men on both sides of the family. But there comes a time when enough is enough. I've been at this 20 years, 14 years this year as a pro. I've had a lot of bumps and bruises along the way, I've had a lot of ups and downs. I've had a great career. I've won every single belt there is to win in boxing, every one of them. I've had team times tried to make the fight with a big dosser, shot, aka AJ, and it's never happened. And all of a sudden this new guy's come on the, the scene, mm -hmm. who's second, and beat him up, and, and have people saying, oh, well, let's fight him, let's keep going. You can't keep moving goalposts on me. I'm only a man, I'm only blood and bone. And I had my heart set on fighting AJ, mm -hmm. and it's not happened. It hasn't happened for the last five years. Tyson, be honest with me. You're coming back, and you're coming back for Joshua, aren't you? Right, I'm going to tell you the truth. I was on Good Morning Britain this morning, and I told them the truth. I am retired 100% from professional boxing. I made that very clear on the last show I did with you guys at Wembley, afterwards, and I'm still adamant I am 100% retired from pro boxing. I don't know why everyone keeps saying I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Because you're I'm such a big draw, back. Tyson, and the division yeah, <coughs> doesn't have the personality that's, that's, that you have. That, that's all, all well and good, but I am officially retired from professional boxing. I will be doing some exhibition pantomime stuff. Not real. Well, let me take, Tyson, let me take you back to your sentiments about six months ago when you talked about having five more fights. And you talked about mm. giving Derek a payday at the end of his career. You talked about cleaning yeah. up Joshua. You talked about cleaning Usyk's clock as well. And what's changed? Yeah. Mm. Everything's changed. I retired after my last fight. Yeah, but what's changed from that Derek sentiment? Head. I spoke to your dad before the fight, who was pretty much in the camp that he thinks you're going to come back. But what's changed in your mind between the conversation last October to fighting White, which you made light work of, to where you are now? Listen, I told you so before the last fight, this will be my last fight. And that is my last fight. That's my last professional fight. I've retired on top of the world, undefeated, two-time ever champion of the world, he's won every single belt. I'm not interested in coming back out of retirement. I only just retired eight weeks ago, seven weeks ago, how long it's been. I've not got that itchy feet straight away. If it was five years down the line, then we could maybe talk about it. So, Tyson, is, is there nothing that can bring you out of retirement? A couple of exhibitions. Sorry, I'm is, is, is there nothing that can bring you out of retirement? Because you know, you're right, you know, you, you've achieved everything possible in the sport. Nope. But everybody would love you to sort of go out on the absolute very, very top by beating Joshua. Well, I would for sure. Even even that uh, 200 milli report from the Sun today, that didn't even tempt me. I thought that would be like half of what I would want to come out of retirement. I, I probably want half a billy to come out of retirement. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the words of Tyson the Gypsy King Fury as he joins Talk Sport Boxing. Shout out to them. <clears throat> and in that segment, you heard Tyson Fury say that he is retired. He is doing exhibition stuff. And shout out to Simon Jordan for the great counterpunch. The great counterpunch was, well, what happened when you was talking about beating AJ, beating Alexander Usyk? having four or five more fights, fighting Derek Chisora the third time. What happened? What changed? And he's like, everything changed. But he never said what everything was. Counterpunch. So it just, when you hear Tyson Fury say this, it's hard to tell someone that is a liar, that is a contradicting liar. It's hard to tell if they're telling the truth. It's hard to tell if they're serious about what it is. He appears to tell the truth, but he appears to tell the truth each and every time he says a lie. Okay, so when you're talking about, oh, I'm retired, well, you, we've heard that before, or I want to uh, stay out of the fighting game or whatever, and then you say something else. Or you say it's all not it's not all about money, then all you can talk about is, hey, well, the right type of money, you're gonna have to pay me to have a conversation. Like, okay, well, <clears throat> that defeats the purpose. That's just like a that's like a person saying, I'm not I'm not in it for the money, but if you give me half a billion dollars, I'll stay in it. <laughs> so I mean it's it's totally contradicting. Like, I don't get it. Uh, but this is classic Tyson Fury stuff. You know, and I think and I understand the psyche of everyone that interviews T 
Tyson Fury. One thing you must notice and know about Fury, you have to keep asking him the same questions over and over again because you might get a different answer. Okay, it ain't like he's a man of me word. No, he was, he's a man of many words. Many faces of Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. I did a, a video about that. And it shows you that one day he could be red, next day he could be blue, the day after he could be purple, the day after that he could be orange, okay? And the day after that he could be green, okay? It's just Tyson Fury. He will change as days go by. So I think the smart thing to do would to keep asking him the same questions because you might get something different because Tyson Fury's brain always changes. Okay, so him, for him wanting a half a billion dollars, you know, he wants to set records. Do I agree with exhibitions? No, he's too young for that type shit. You want to do exhibitions when you're Floyd's age. At least Floyd fought the 38. And you have to keep in mind, Tyson Fury took three years off. Yeah, so you don't, you have to really think about well, I've gave this play this this sport twenty years. You know, are you feeling any ill effects? The and here's the thing. Another thing you must keep in mind. The only the tr real true damage Tyson Fury done was to himself when he wasn't fighting. Tyson Fury put so much damage by doing coke and drinking and in excess and getting fat, overweight, putting his body in jeopardy of stroke and heart attack by doing what? By not being into the ring, not training. Not conditioning yourself, not exercising and releasing those endorphins to make you feel better and make you feel accomplished for that day. That's how it happened. So if you ask me, Tyson Fury is putting himself at greater risk by retiring rather than staying competitive and fighting the best fighters out there. And moving the, bowl, the goalpost. Moving the goalpost means what? Alexander Usyk ain't a new kid on the block. He's been around. He's been around. And you've been saying and speaking of Alexander Usyk and people have been asking you about Alexander Usyk. Why? Because he was an undisputed champ. Why? He was undefeated. No one has ever beat him professionally. So you're saying, oh, they moved the goalpost and they want me to take on all these newcomers. No, you're acting like this guy that's been doing this shit forever and now you're tired. You have not. You retired for three years. When you came back, you fought four bums and Deontay Wilder three times and you just took out Dillian White. That's what you've done when you came back. And before that, you upset Klitschko. What else have you done? You haven't been doing this for years and years and years and years. No, you haven't. You've been the guy that's been unpredictable for many years and years and years. Right? And now you've finally did something you supposed to do and after doing that couple to like one or two times really you know with Dillian White now you want to retire unacceptable but if you're going to do it for the money do it for the money but if you're not you know don't talk about money when you're a Spartan but anyway you guys tell me what you think of Tyson the Gypsy King Fury saying that he's retired and he would only come back for a Five hundred million dollars. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.